Another beautiful day here on Little Corn Island in Nicaragua and we're gonna do some fishing today. So last night while I was having a few beers meeting the locals, I made friends with the local fishing guide and he invited me to go out on the boat this morning. Yo! Here's my buddy Peter. We're going snorkeling, then we're gonna go do some fishing today. What's your name? Alan. Alan? Yeah. These guys were awesome. It's no wonder they're the number one fishing guides on the island. They thought I might be a little bit hungover today, which is never a good deal when you're out on the open ocean. So they brought me a fresh coconut to cure my hangover. <laughs> so on the way to go snorkeling, we tossed in a line. Hey, we caught a fish. Good job, brother. So Alan caught the first fish today and we were off to the races. Video. Say something about that. Hey, we're gonna catch some big fish. I got For a little while, it's time to make a pit stop. Because, as all good fishermen know, a cold beer helps catch more fish. After enjoying our cold beers, it was time to get back out on the water. So, what are we fishing for today? Looking for a barracuda or a king. Thank you, mean buddy. Yeah, we got fish. Yeah, real, you real, buddy. You don't afraid? Is there? Is there? Yeah, don't give him that chance to hard line him back. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Where is your fish coming right here? Take him in. Wow, that's so nice. Yeah, take him in. Take him in. Don't make him pressure you. I don't know. What kind of fish is it? I don't know. Real, real. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Really, get ready for him, my land. Really, really. Oh, this is a workout. Really, yeah, move around here. You can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really, really. Yeah, yeah really. See right here. No, we gotta stop, bro. We gotta stop the barracuda. He's coming. Just take your time. Take your time. He's coming. Hook him, my land. Hook him. Take him in. Take him in, my land. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, there we go. Now we got a big fish. Well, I caught my first barracuda of the day and it was a monster. Check out those teeth. So, me and Alan each had one fish on the day and we decided it was time to jump in and cool off. We hadn't been planning on staying out all day, but we were having so much fun we decided to go catch some more bait fish and keep on going. It was so cool to see how they got the bait fish. First they would look for where the birds were going, and once they got to where the birds were, Alan would stand up on top of the boat and look down into the water to find the bait fish. So now we got us some bait fish. What are these fish called? Sardines. Oh, these are sardines. After just a couple tosses of the net, we had more than enough bait fish and we were back to fish. I guess it's about time to catch a barracuda, right? Yeah. Wow, bro. Yeah. 
Next thing you knew, I already had another Go for it, my buddy. Hey. That's another one, eh? Hey, that's it, bro. It's pretty cool, just drinking some beers, catching some fish in the middle of the Caribbean. This is easily one of the coolest things that I've ever done. If you want to book a trip with Captain Peter, I'll leave his link below in the description. Another bear too, man. Got another. Well, I had two fish on one hook until I got right up to the boat. But we got one. Oh, we got four barracudas, a mackerel, and a yellowtail. Not a bad day of fishing. Time to go cook them up and eat them. So we got some beer, now we just gotta walk back and clean up the fish. So we're back at Peter's house. Yeah. Now we got now we got our catch here. JD. So Peter, how are we gonna cook this fish up? Hmm? How are we gonna cook up the fish? The tomatoes. We're gonna fry it and then stew it on the tomato sauce. Some rice and some chips. So we get to try the fish now. How is it? <laughs> There's the chef right there. Best, bro. It really was the best fish I'd ever had. Got some uh, rice, plantains and some fish here. What an awesome day that I'll never forget. I can't thank Peter and Alan enough.